It's rare that we see Meizu in the spotlight, but the company has been upping its game lately with its MX smartphone line spearheading its approach. The MX4 Pro is an update to their flagship MX4, and it brings upgrades all around. But are the upgrades enough to make this phone worth your money? I'm Hayato Husman with Pocket Now, and let's find out in our full review of the Meizu MX4 Pro. This review unit comes to us courtesy of efoxshop.com. Aluminum sides? Check. Chamfered edges? Check. The design of the MX4 Pro is an iterative step from the MX4 before it, and like the MX4, it's a nice design, if not a little uninspired. Metal sides and a removable plastic back panel that look and feel like metal makes a good first impression, and so does the display. The MX4 Pro has a 5.5 inch IPS LCD panel with a 2560 by 1536 resolution. For you pixel junkies, that's a whopping 546 pixels per inch. The display is bright and vibrant and has fantastic outdoor visibility, viewing angles, and color reproduction. Black isn't quite as deep as on AMOLED panels, of course, but that's about the only thing we can find wrong with this excellent display. Sitting alongside that display on the front of the device is a 5 megapixel front facing camera, an earpiece speaker, and a physical button, more on that later. There's a nice and clicky volume rocker on the left hand bezel, and a micro USB port and speaker holes along the bottom. Up top we've got the 3.5mm headphone jack, and yeah, the power button on the top. The back of the phone is clean as can be, with only the 207 megapixel camera, LED flash, and Meizu branding to be found. As I said before, it's also removable, though the battery isn't, so don't try. Removing the back plate exposes the micro SIM tray, but there's no micro SD slot, so keep that in mind before you buy the phone, and be sure to order the right size configuration for you. Powering the software experience on the MX4 Pro is Meizu's proprietary FlyMe UI, and we'd be lying if we said it doesn't feel a lot like iOS. There's no app drawer here, but instead a rearrangeable grid of icons, folders, and widgets. Pulling down the notification shade reveals the same Gaussian blur effect popularized with iOS 7, and there's even a search function triggered with a swipe up on the home screen. It's a bit jarring at first for the average Android user, but hey, we're not saying any of this is a bad thing. There is a bit of a learning curve for the home button though, since there are no capacitive buttons on either side of it. Meizu has implemented a few gestures in their stead, a swipe up from the home button acts as the back button, and swiping up from the left or right of the button pulls up Meizu's multitasking solution. Sure, it's not the card based UI that we're used to seeing from Android, but I actually enjoy it. It's clean and it doesn't obstruct your view of the current app. You can also long press the home button to turn off the display instead of having to reach for the power button up top. Speaking of the home button, it's also a fingerprint scanner. Just like the iPhone and the Galaxy S6, you can place a finger on the home button to quickly unlock the MX4 Pro without having to type in your PIN, and it's really responsive. You can record multiple fingers, and even use the button to authorize mobile payments through Meizu's FlyMe service. There are a few apps here from Meizu for productivity, like the File Manager and Memos, and a theming engine and app center that currently only feature Chinese content, but aside from that there's really next to no bloatware on the MX4 Pro. Although, aside from the Play Store, there's also no Google Apps pre-installed. Of course, you can always just download whatever Google Apps you use, and some might enjoy not having every service forced on their phone. The camera on the MX4 Pro is nothing short of excellent, at least in the right lighting. Photos taken in bright, sunny environments have vibrant colors that walk the line of oversaturation, and they look tack sharp even at 100% crop. There are plenty of manual controls for full rain over your shots, and plenty of different modes like HDR and panorama. And of course, beauty mode, this time with individual options for the eyes, face, skin, and teeth. For the crazy anime character in you. Take the MX4 Pro into dimmer lighting though, and the whole experience starts to go downhill. It's extremely slow to take a photo indoors, to the point that most of the shots I take end up blurry messes because I thought it had already taken the photo long before it actually did. And even when you manage to get a good enough looking shot, the clarity from before is lost in exchange for fuzz and grain. Keeping with the trend of modern flagship smartphones, there's 4K video capture to take full advantage of the 20.7 megapixel sensor, although without reliable focusing or OIS, I can't really say that I'd recommend this without a tripod.
There's also a slow motion video for 60 frames per second capture in 720p. Performance is a high point of this phone, putting its octa-core processor and high-end GPU to good use. I never noticed any significant lag, and scrolling through the home screens is buttery smooth. It's quick to launch apps, and with 3GB of RAM at its disposal, games don't seem to trip up the phone either, though they do take a toll on its battery. The MX4 Pro impresses us in a lot of ways, but the battery life always leaves us wanting more. We manage to squeeze about 3 hours of screen on time on average, where most of the other top spec devices these days are giving us upwards of 4 or 5 hours. Call quality sounded good in our testing, but another disappointment we faced was the data performance, since our unit wasn't compatible with AT&T's 4G network, instead falling back on 3G. At the end of the day, the MX4 Pro offers a compelling package that brings together a stunning display, great camera, and speedy performance at a good price. You can order one right now for less than 400 US dollars online, but keep in mind its network compatibility and make sure that it works with your carrier before you do. If you order it, you're getting the best that Meizu currently has to offer, and even though the software has a bit of a learning curve, we have no problems recommending the MX4 Pro as your next phone. Once again, this phone was generously provided to us by the fine folks at eFoxShop.com, one of Europe's largest online retailers of electronics including phones, tablets, and wearables. Go pay them a visit. But before you do, drop us a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot more content with a lot more phones coming up. This has been Hayato Huseman with Pocket Now, and we thank you very much for watching. See you next time.